Welcome back. Now that you've designed your campaign, it's time to learn about triggering options. Triggers are rules that determine when your campaign will appear. You have six options here. Let's see what they are. You can add or edit triggers under the When Will the Pop-Up Show setting. There's a recommended trigger already set up for each template. You can either leave it as it is, or you can delete it or add another triggering by clicking on the Add New Trigger button. Here, you'll see all the trigger options. First, you have On Exit Intent. With this trigger, your campaign will only appear when a visitor attempts to leave your website. This is great for cart or site abandonment pop-ups. You can also show your campaign when a visitor clicks on a specific part of your page. If you have a lead magnet in your article, you can make it appear only to the people who click on the button or the banner. You can decide to only show your campaign after a visitor has scrolled down on your page or a few seconds after a user has stopped all activity on your site. You can also display a campaign based on the time spent on your page. This is perfect for email pop-ups. And finally, you can use a JavaScript event as a trigger. When you choose a trigger, you'll have the option to select the devices where you want to show the campaign. And you can even set up multiple triggers. So you might decide to use the exit intent on desktop, but use a time-based trigger on mobile. Well, that's it for triggers. In the following video, we'll talk about targeting options, aka who will see your campaign. Are you ready?